Last one. Mitochondrial function and the fasting. Um, well, first of all, why we talk about like a fasting benefits mitochondria? Why does it matter? What does mitochondria do? Yeah, mitochondria, and this is a sort of area of research that's fairly recent. So mm-hmm. mitochondria are the sort of power cells. Um, they, they, they power, they're like the batteries of mm-hmm. our cells. Right, so when your body takes in glucose to burn for energy, mm-hmm. it's not the whole cell. It's the mitochondria within the cell. And how healthy they are might play actually a huge role in a lot of different types of diseases. Um, you know, brain diseases, Alzheimer's, so a lot of very important diseases people think is actually related to mitochondrial health. And one of the things that people have talked about is mitophagy, for example. So mitophagy mm-hmm. is the same as autophagy, but mm-hmm. applied to mitochondria. And what autophagy is, is this sort of renewal process that happens with fasting. Mm-hmm. So when you don't eat for a certain period of time, probably more towards the 16 to 20 to 24 hours, mm-hmm. then your body actually starts to break down um, subcellular organs like the mitochondria. And this sounds really bad because it's like, oh, you're breaking down things. It's like, no, but the thing is that when you break down these uh, sort of older Mm -hmm. mitochondria, the damaged ones, the damaged Mm -hmm. ones, the old ones, you get rid of them. That's the first step. Then because fasting increases growth hormone, when you start to eat again, you will rebuild what you need, Mm -hmm. right? Because this is the way the body works. It always is breaking down stuff. Same with muscles, right? Mm -hmm. You're always breaking down muscle cells. Mm -hmm. If you put strain on it, your muscles will rebuild Mm -hmm. what you've broken down. If you don't put strain on it, like in bed rest, Mm -hmm. then your muscles just break down, but they don't regrow. regrow. Okay, Mm -hmm. same with bone. So you get osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. If you put strain on that bone, Mm -hmm. it will get stronger. Those astronauts in space, they all get Mm -hmm. osteoporosis if they don't exercise. You have to put strain on the bone, then the bone will respond because it's, you're always wearing down the bone, mm-hmm. right, with osteoclast, and then you will rebuild only according to the stress that's put on it. So the, the same thing, the mitochondria, I see. if you break it down, mm-hmm. you have growth hormone, you will rebuild it. Mm-hmm. And therefore, when you break down old stuff and replace it with new stuff, mm-hmm. that's the process of rejuvenation. So you've actually replaced it. It's like a renovation for mm-hmm. your cells. So the idea is that fasting can be very, very important to mitochondrial health by maintaining this sort of natural cycle Mm -hmm. of mitochondria. So, you know, if you have an old car, an old engine, an old battery, Mm -hmm. you know, you can throw it out and Mm -hmm. get a new one, Mm -hmm. right? Like your iPhone, right? You have an old iPhone, you know, you have to charge that (laughs) twice a day, right? You get a new iPhone, it lasts you like three days, Mm -hmm. right? Because the battery is new. Well, the cell's battery, which Mm -hmm. is generating the energy, you want to get rid of that old one and bring in the new one. So a lot of people thinking fasting might be very important. And maybe this is why people have always used fasting. Mm -hmm. You go back to, you know, ancient times. People talk about fasting in every major religion, whether it's Hinduism, Buddhism, Catholicism, you know, everywhere. Uh Judaism, there's always fasting somewhere in there this is from thousands of years as ago. a religious practice as right? a religious practice for your health because uh-huh. remember these religions are are vested in keeping people healthy mm-hmm. and this is not a time where obesity is a problem and type 2 diabetes right. two thousand years ago people uh-huh. didn't have that much to eat uh-huh. and yet they still thought they should do fasting uh-huh. because it was good for them maybe give you mental clarity too Exactly. They, mental, uh, yeah. mental clarity is important that the ancient Greeks talked about it a lot. So here we have a, a therapy mm-hmm. which is free. Mm-hmm. It's been used for thousands of years. So we know it's all proven. about it. Mm-hmm. It's proven. Um, it's available. Like mm-hmm. you don't need any special right. clinics. You don't need any special equipment. Mm-hmm. You don't need anything. It doesn't cost you anything. It's not inconvenient because you're simply not eating. And yet, it has this power to sort of change everything for, for, for weight gain, for uh, obesity, for metabolic disease. And remember, metabolic disease, which has implications for heart disease and cancers and strokes, which are the major killers uh, these days. Metabolic disease is the major problem these days. 2,000 years ago, 
you're worried about infections, mm -hmm. right? People would get septic. They would have, right. you know, they don't have antibiotics. They mm -hmm. don't have antivirals. Mm -hmm. Now we have all that. Right. What's killing us now is heart disease, cancer, strokes, of which the most important thing mm -hmm. right now is metabolic disease. Right. It used to be smoking. Now it's metabolic disease is the most important. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that the fasting, which is free, which is, you know, available, can help in so many different ways.